down all around hey guys welcome to my channel today i'm talking about an exciting collaboration that i'm doing with i Feel correct and i'm talking about self-love self-care and i am doing a little get ready with me so if you want to see how i created this look and more about self-love, self-care, which we all need more of then just keep on watching. So I'm going to get started. So the first thing I would use is the Sorbet Prep and Poreless Primer. It's one of my favorite primers right now. It reminds me so much of the Benefit Paul Professional Primer. It just, it's like that kind of texture where it feels a bit what's the word not as dry it feels a little bit more hydrating than that which is amazing under eye correcting primer what i like about this under eye correcting primer if the camera would just focus um is that it's super hydrating and it has a formula that's supposed to lighten your dark circles i can't speak as to how that lightens your dark circles but i can say that Um, it really does feel nicer under the eye. I love this sponge. Sponge is super amazing. Okay, that's better. So let me just blend this out. So you can see from one eye in comparison to the other eye. I don't blend it all the way in. You can see really like. That's a cool no doubt so girl like raccoon no raccoon <laughs> amazing so if you like me and you only have dark circles and that's the thing that you want to focus on if you only want to focus on your dark circles then that and you have really dry skin then this would be the one for you but if you have dark circles and you you can kind of hydrate that area and you need a little bit more pigment then i would recommend this peach corrector and the only reason why is because cream products just have a little bit more of a coverage than powder products so i would just politely get my finger up in there and then lightly tap this trying to concentrate on this middle area with the ring finger it's a bit harder to work with because it's cream you can use a brush but i just find like my finger because it's warm it kind of just melts the product a bit more and you can see with like two swipes it's already basically covered and that's what we have so you can see coverage is a little bit better with this one hydration is a little bit better with this one so I'm just going to use this and just correct here as well. The chin area is a bit, you know, pigmented. And yeah. Guys, it's a Sunday and the people next door are making a noise. I'm just going to bend this in. So just don't mind the people in the background. If you can hear them, don't mind them. Okay going to be using my Fenty Beauty foundation have I reviewed this on my channel? I don't think I have I thought I think I haven't reviewed this because it everybody gave it like rave reviews anyway so don't need to but this is the shade 330 so what I recently started doing is basically putting on my foundation with a flat foundation brush like a little bit like this and then using a flat foundation brush to like smooth it out like so that's just to like make sure like it glides everywhere and then put a little bit more on the brush and gliding it through so basically you don't need to be spending hours blending your foundation If you can just put the right amount on to your waist, what is it left over? It's like drag it on. And then blend it out the sponge, then you know, ditto, it's done. Just 
just gonna wet this brush a bit with the next bare it'll spray brush sponge. Just gonna wet that. Okay. So while we get ready, I thought that we should talk about self-love and self-care. So as you know, some of you who follow me on Instagram. You probably know. Okay, let me blend my foundation and I'll come back to it. This empty town, I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air, like a blazing flare. The stick is the flames will burn us. I thought you were the one for me. That's why I gave you everything. Held you close by the stormy seas. Oh, you yeah, the to me. Towards the middle of last year, towards the end of last year, things got up a drop. And life, as you know it, is just full of challenges and things that can go wrong and full of good things as well full of good wine and good food and good makeup but also but also things can go wrong so it's something quite traumatic just going in with the allego honey so i'm just going to interrupt this feed with the products warm honey concealer my hair just gets over it don't mind it um yeah so something quite challenging happened and quite like i would say traumatic happened and i was put into a situation that was not necessary and i needed to walk out of that situation <laughs> it looks so funny i'm just going to use the same sponge to blend it and yeah, I had to channel into, well, firstly, I had a lot of good friends that I could rely on and family that was there for me. But also, I had to channel in a lot of self-care and a lot of self-love and make sure that I was okay mentally. And growing up, I actually learned a lot of ways to cope with these kind of things so i used to practice light meditation meditation yoga i grew up in really like religious but also spiritual background so i was equipped to deal with it it was very very hectic though you would have seen some things online you would have seen some tweets you would have seen some post stories um of me just sharing you know like this is what i'm going through and okay now it's like six months later and yes things are quite a bit better i'm just gonna use the shade golden in the next hd concealer things are a lot better but also i had to realize that you know what i can't just rely on these things when i need to i need to always practice those things so i need to always practice this so Basically, that's when I started shooting more on my channel, more on my Instagram, on ways to take care of yourself. And I was always big into self-love and self-care, um, but even more so after I found like it really helps when you have coping mechanisms, when you're going through something that is very difficult. And I started journaling like every single morning. I started meditating again. I started speaking more, um, spending more time with people that understood or I felt were good for me to get through this and they were really supportive and really helpful and relied on like many people. Um, but I guess where I'm going with this is that self-care and self-love is super, super important. It's not just the... It's not a thing like, oh yeah, I just need to relax now. I'm just going to go in a little bit more Fenty around this chin area. It's looking very white on camera, but not really in person. But anyway, um, it's not something that's there. Just, what's the word? Yeah, when you need it. Or it's not something that's just there for when times are tough. And I think 
please mind all the background noise. And I think that that's what this again. Spray. Ugh. I should just blend everything in now. So I think that's what we forget is that things that we do on the daily really really affects our entire life and we should be practicing things that can help us every single day because things go wrong every single day you go to work you come home this can go wrong this can affect you something else subconsciously can affect you growing up whatever your childhood stuff can like just affect you if you haven't dealt with it and this is why I started focusing more on that especially on my Instagram and I thought that I wanted to bring that over to my channel so this is why I'm opening up this discussion Illusion banana powder in a long time so I think let's just do that I'd like to just drop some into this and let's use a different sponge let's use the sponge to just like place quite a bit under this eye area and let it just make nicely if there's any fallout you know guts you so yeah um today i want to just talk about how we can cope better with stress and how we can cope better with things and how do we practice how do we practice self-love how do we practice self-care this is my first time using the p louise face so let's see how this looks kind of drops like this okay, i'm not gonna i'm just gonna show you like in the camera it's like that this is what it looks like i'm gonna put some straight onto a brush and put it out of the leads onto the leads hmm okay that's looking good i need a mirror but we shall prosper and we shall get to it oh wow but i feel like this is not the best brush but we shall be okay Um, oh, I'll put a lot on this eye. Let's just put some here. Okay, I need to focus with this, and then when I'm done, then I get back to the conversation. I hate you. I need to put it. <laughs> Anyway, okay, yeah, so like I was saying, some people get lost when it comes to like, oh, this is self love, this is self care, and this is this, and this is that. Like, yeah, like, dude, if you feel like you need a massage and that's your form of self care, like, that's all good, like, that's cool. Um, if you can't afford a massage, that's also fine. There's so many things that you can do that will help you. Okay, so I'm getting into this palette. I'm going to go in with the shade Edges and Dollars. Those two shades. It's these two. White over here. Oh, this palette demo was there. But I'm using a brush like this. A big, nice, fluffy brush. Just getting into that crease a bit. I'm just going to blend. Okay, so while I'm blending... I just want to say, like, 
people think some people may think like uh so oh this brush is so amazing oh it just blends so nicely what People could think it's this, people could think it's masking, it could, it could be massage, it could be anything that you want it to be. But for me personally, it's more than that. This is brush. This is one of the eye color grade brushes. This is in the travel set. I really like it. Nice and precise. Nice and precise. I'm going to use this shade Credit here. Um, just to pack in a little bit and then I'm going to blend. Yeah, so for me it's just a little bit more than, it's not more than that, but it's just different. So I think for a lot of people as well, it could probably be the same thing for me. So for me it's meditating, going to go back into the first two shades, with the big fluffy brush. Yeah, so for me it's doing stuff on the daily that helps. So whether it's practicing gratitude, so every morning I would wake up, every morning I'd wake up and then Yes. I'm just looking it's like, uh, is Nando's on at Google Eats or anything? So for me, it's journaling, it's doing things on the daily that will help. So for instance, every morning when I wake up, I will, or even before I go to bed, I will, every day, so essentially, I will ask myself, what am I grateful for? Five things that I'm grateful for. I have list those five things, whether it's in my head or whether it's down to me, it doesn't matter. So long as I am practicing actively something that makes me feel better overall. I'm just going to use a cleaner fluffy brush to like blend this out. This is it. Um, so nice and fluffy. So I don't always get to journal. And I do think when I do journal I do feel better. So it kind of just helps release all those emotions out it kind of just helps to um, feel better it helps to understand what you're feeling to process it to write it down like when you write down anything when you write a list when you write your task of the day when you write whatever um you kind of process it better so that's what i try to do as well as as far as possible i'm just going to go in with the eye color correct brush again and put on the shade Zam. It's very glittery. I'm gonna put that on the lid. It's kind of it kind of needs to be wet, so I just wish the brush. And then, so oh look at that pigment. So. That goes in. Doing things on the daily helps me feel better about life overall, about what I can achieve overall, about how I'm feeling overall, um, whether it's something wrong, something right, it doesn't really matter. Excuse the door. Sorry, I'm blocking you. Then, of course, I occasionally will myself like with this actually base i've wanted this base for so long obviously if you can afford whatever you can afford you will just go and get it if you can but i had so many expenses recently that i couldn't so for me that was for myself care it was like listen i want to try this out and it's finally on sale i'm gonna buy it and yeah um
If something is going to make you happy, then I just think you should do it. If you can do it. You know, obviously you don't want to be in debt and like waste money. But if you feel like you need something to make your life better, then just go and do it. And don't feel bad about it. Back. I'm just going to do my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brows. Yeah. So I was going to say like, it can mean anything to you. So I'll just fold the ends. I would love to know what it is to you. Because I do think it means different things to different people. And I'm not trying to like make anyone feel like they don't know what it is or whatever they think it is, it's not right. Like everything, especially like so broad, can mean things, different things to people. And yeah, I just think it's so important to make sure that you put yourself first sometimes and you take care of yourself mentally and you don't like put that on the like peripheral view, you put that first. I use this eye color crepe brush and the skin seal palette. And I'm just going to like tap it lightly, that's what I do. And then just give some color and dimension here. So I just basically put some definition into this face. And I know you're like, oh, it's a clean product. Why are you using a brush like that? But I just like this kind of like really natural look. See? Before I forget, let me just dust away all this powder though. Oh. I don't know who's making the noise outside. Now, for the star of the show, it's the Living Coral Collection Triple Dimension Clean Palette. This palette is just everything. It's like, it's the shits. It's the shits. So there's a highlight shade, there is a blush shade, and there's like a dimensional blushy kind of bronzy, peachy, pinky shade. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with this amazing sponge that comes with it, and I'm just gonna tap into that shade and just get a little bit more dimension, a pink dimension, and a little bit more on the side. I don't know if you guys can pick this up on camera, but it's absolutely stunning. Like, absolutely stunning and I'm just going to go into a little bit of this blush shade in the middle and just pack up the cheeks and then I'm going to use the tip for that highlight this palette is everything it's like one of those palettes like my friend saw me using it well she didn't actually see me using it she saw my cheeks and she's like in the middle of my conversation where I was wearing cheeks she's like wait what do you have on your cheeks and then I had to tell her it was this um Another thing I love about these products is that it's cruelty free, it is amazing packaging, it's a local business, you're supporting a local business, you're doing things man, you're doing things. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right, so self care can mean many things to many people, and um, if you have any thoughts you want to share with me, or you want to ask me, or discuss, please let me know in the comments. Reminder that these products, the travel kit looks like this, so I think it's really worth it. When you open it up, you can actually store products in it, but then you have these brushes inside. And I do like the products, uh, I do like the brushes, I think they're really worth it and they really do a good job. Mostly that's all I use, I just use the Pixie one today because it's the first time that I can use it. Dux Color Pop, Pop Lipstick in the shade La Lady and it's the first time I'm going to be using it. I bought this one Chocolate Tea as well. There we go, that's better. My hand is so weird, like it doesn't know how to do the YouTuber things. There we go, that's better. Oh my god, it just glides on. So pretty. It really does remind me of MAC Persistence. This is the 
finally anyway at the end of the video i just want to go over the products and give you my final review this dog just won't stop barking yeah this is my must-have triple dimension palette absolutely stunning shade love it. it has a mirror three shades inside you just tap tap and go perfect for people who don't have time to do their makeup this dog just won't stop barking people don't have time to do their makeup use <laughs> with the sponge the sponge comes with it perfect for you absolutely must have bar set is very cool the brushes itself is really good quality and you could fit like most of your makeup products in this bag which is a bonus um if you don't have like a really good brush it, a brush it, it's cruelty free and yes this would be it and then and then we're going to the skin seal palette so if you want to use something that's more of a bronzer type product which is that and you need the beach corrector which is that and a green corrector so if you have red spots the green corrector will correct your red spots and the peach corrector for under your eye that would work really well and then this would be perfect you wouldn't need to get this one for example you could just get that or if you don't need the other two then just get this um for more coverage you'd use this one and then if you need a little bit less coverage but still some good coverage and hydration then that one but overall um i would definitely say that this is my favorite but i definitely need all of them to get this glowing look um yeah so thank you so much for watching this video and thank you to icolor correct for collaborating with me and i really am enjoying this the discount will go on until end of march i will leave it on the screen so that you can figure out and i'll leave the website in the description so yeah see you when i see you